you are never, ever, ever, ever going to wear my sweater. <laughs> you are never, ever, ever going to wear my sweater. Why don't you tell everyone how you feel about going to the gym? We just came back from the gym. It was wonderful. I just got a new personal best on the bench press. I did 185. Yay. But only on the decline. I don't know why I couldn't do it on the flat. Lovely day as always. Mama is so happy. Oh, so happy. It's amazing. Bloody bunch of work. Toronto really has the worst drivers in the world. I've been driving a motorcycle since I'm 25, so over a decade. Three times my motorcycle has been smashed when I just leave it parked somewhere. So whenever I park anywhere, I try to park at the beginning of a parking spot or the end of a parking spot. That way there's only one chance of getting hit. If you park in between two cars, then this one or that one could hit you. Or I'll look for an expensive vehicle and I'll park in front of it. My hair salon is in Chinatown. <laughs> I'm not saying anything more on that. If you know Toronto, Spadina Avenue is like one of the worst places for traffic and just car accidents. A white bald guy in a pickup truck. He smashed into my motorcycle and drove away. And people were around and they saw it, so they got his license plate. Now I haven't had a motorcycle for over a month and I don't want to have a write-off. I don't want them to give me money for my motorcycle. It's a 1999 CBR Honda. It has an engine swap, so it has an F4i engine and that engine didn't have high mileage. So I pay $50 a month for insurance. So my motorcycle literally cost me less than a Metro Pass. And they're gonna give me $2,400 for it. If I want to fight it, I have to like hire an appraiser and like do all sorts of stuff. And just, it ends up being a time nightmare and everything. And just, so it's just, I don't know. I don't want to not ride a motorcycle. At the same time, I'm in debt. So I can take that money and put it towards my debt and have less debt. And I've been driving since I'm 16 with a totally clean record in Toronto where like there's just the worst drivers in the world. It's a beautiful day at least, it's beautiful. A little bit too hot. I'm gonna go out to some friends for dinner so that will be nice. I don't wanna be forced to not be able to have my motorcycle and it just sucks. I just found this out and it's just, it's just, it's depressing. I love riding motorcycles. They just wanna give you nothing for it, you know? I hate insurance company. The guy bloody took a pickup truck, drove it onto my bike and then drove away. He should have to pay, you know, he should. He should have to like go to court. He should get charged for hit and run for like doing that. And then he should have to pay whatever it takes to have my bike running well that I can use it. Like why do I have to suffer for idiots? destroying my motorcycle and then the thing is then his insurance goes way up and then the insurance company gets to make all that profit off of him if he wants to keep driving and i don't get nothing of it hey here's 2400 bucks for your baby she wanted to rip my package open so let's see what's in here two. Oh. oh another one another package wow amazing i taught her the secret technique Shove a finger in and rip it apart. <laughs> Come on. No, no, go back to where it was ripping. You were doing it. Yeah, it was stretching. Shove your finger in. There you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, drone parts. Probably everything today is more drone parts. Yeah. These get put around the propellers so that you can fly inside safely without hitting people. The standoffs that I build the drone, I can have them different tightnesses over here, depending on the electronics that have to go in them. Guys, you know that my dad is very good at, at snake stuff, because he's really good at taking care of them. That's a little point. Watch, right here. Yep. Look, 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 there's pus coming out, you see? Anything that's in here, you want to get it out. If I can't find anything, I'm going to just let it be. 
and then it'll either get better or it'll get worse. And if it gets worse, it'll be easier to remove whatever's there. And if it gets better, then we don't have to bother. Like this happens, it's good to get it right at the beginning. Clean it and disinfect it. I think when she ate her last meal, right here, do you see the tip of the thing? Yeah, yeah, you can see the tooth. When she ate and she closed her mouth after, she uh, she stuck one of her teeth into her lower gum, so the tooth got stuck in the lower gum, and then it started to, um, like an ingrown. When an ingrown is in your uh, face, if you don't get the ingrown out, it like pusses and stuff until it comes out. Avery, are you filming it? Yep. Yeah, did you see that squirt out? they get nuts and they do like antibiotics and stuff and that's actually lots of the time more harmful for the snake's immune system because it kills good stuff with bad stuff and snakes will generally like recover from something like this pretty easily you just yeah obviously I'm gonna wash my hand properly clean it and use some um, I'll use uh, ben Benadine We'll put some Benadine on her, make sure her home's clean and her water is fresh, and check her basically every day. We got the tooth out, and we got all the, um, all the pus out. This is kind of like putting alcohol or something on a wound, it's a little bit not desirable. But she's being good. Oh. 